Greetings, my friends in Christ. I have chosen to speak from the first readings today, from St. Paul's first letter to the Thessalonians, chapter 2, starting with verse 9. It reminds all of us of the importance, the challenges, and the rewards of being good ministers. First, Paul reminds us that doing ministry takes time and effort. We are to do what it takes to convey the, mes the message of the gospel to those we encounter, to others. It takes time to study. It takes time and it takes care to use the right words. And it takes love to convey it in our words and in our actions so that we participate and internalize the gospel message in our lives and then share it with others. Paul then says, it is like a father and how he treats his children. Any father who has tried to teach his children knows that you need to believe and live what you say and then want your children to follow in your message. Second, it takes patience. Sometimes children don't, children don't hear or want to listen, but it helps when you convey it according to the young ears to, that are in front of you. It takes being stern or persistent, sometimes having to scold your children, but do it with love so that they think it is what is best for them, for them to be better children, for them to be better people. Patience, persistence, but loving. Ah, yes, it does take time and effort, as Paul says. In the end, at the end of the message today, in the first reading, Paul offers such an important close to this reading. He says, it is not mine, it's not Paul's words, but it is the words of God. The importance of, again, again, understanding God's message, so it is expressed as God's message, not my message. It is also such that we pray that the Spirit of God will work with those who hear our message to truly understand God's Word. My brothers and sisters, I pray that you feel God's Spirit is with you this week and always, and that that same Spirit guides you to spread the Gospel to all that you encounter. May God bless you and your family, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.